Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. If this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. Guys, today we're going to be talking about your pool and your electricity. How are you running power to your pool? Right off the bat, one thing to remember, electricity and water do not mix. It will kill you, kill you dead. So with that being said, I'm getting a lot of questions and comments. People running their pool pumps on extension cords. Now, you reading your manuals, they ain't none of them going to recommend you running your pump on an extension cord, but we know in the real world, it happens every day. But guys, if you're going to run your pump on an extension cord running from an outlet from your house or your nearest place to get electricity, there's two important things you need to know. One of the most important things you need to do is it needs to be plugged into a GFCI circuit. That stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. And if you ain't got one of them plugs on the outside of your house that you're going to be plugging into, I'm going to attach a link where you can buy a GFCI adapter to plug into your outlet and then you plug your cord into it. Like I said, water and electricity don't mix, guys. And water is going through your pump from your pool, circulating out of your pool, through your pump, back into your pool. So if something shorts out in that pump, you can electrocute you and everybody that's in that swimming pool. So for sure have your power plugged into a GFCI outlet. Or again, if you ain't got the outlet, use this adapter I'm going to attach up here and show you. Second thing y'all need to know about running anything on electrical cords. The further that cord is run, the bigger that cord's got to be. And it don't matter if that's electrical cords or wire in a house. The more you, the further you run a wire, electrical wire, the heavier a gauge that wire has to be to carry the amount of electricity that that motor requires to run it. You say, well, I got it running off this little cord and it's running. A lot of times it'll run, but it's not getting the full amount of power that it needs, especially in kick-on mode. When a motor first kicks on, it takes more power for that first instant than it does after it gets running. Second thing, when you gauge the wire too small over time, that wire can get hot and burn out. Either way, you're going to end up running your pump or catching something on fire if your extension cord ain't a heavy enough gauge. Now guys, I'm going to attach a chart up here because everybody's is going to be different on what size pump they got, how far they run in their extension cord, and stuff like that. You just have to do a little research and see what size cord you need to have. And by all means, have it plugged into a GFCI plug. Extension cords, 
the higher the number on the cord, the smaller the wire is. For example, a 16 gauge extension cord is a little cord. A 10 gauge extension cord is a big cord. Electrical wires, the numbers is opposite. Ain't really sure why, why it's like that, but that's the way it is. Also, some of these little pools, the pumps they come with, they are little pumps. So use these charts, and you'll look on that motor on the tag or in the manual that come with it, and it'll tell you the volts and the watts that motor uses, and use this chart, or either go Google and find a better chart than what I may have attached here. And it'll tell you the gauge wire needs to be to run that, and it'll have the distance, the further your distance is, how far you can just uh, say, for example, say you got a 12 gauge extension cord. A 12 gauge may run it up till, say, 25 foot. If it's further than 25 foot, you may need to go to a 10 gauge extension cord. Now, that's just an example. That's something everybody's going to have to figure out, do a little research on. But the main thing about this video is safety. When I get to reading all these plugging, talking about running their extension cords out from the house to their pools, guys, that ain't safe if you ain't plugging into a GFCI plug. By all means, don't take a shortcut. Spend this little, at least spend the money and get the GFCI adapter that goes between the cord and the plug you plug it into. Now you on you you tell you you just take your own chance if you want to run the motor on extension cord that may be too small. But guys, it's a beautiful morning this morning out here. Finally getting some sunshine. It's humid though. I don't know if y'all can see behind me or the camera's picking up that far. It looks like I live on a lake out here. We just get rain, 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 and more rain. And looking at the sky, it looks like it's probably going to build up another one today. And another question I've been getting, if you have your pump running on an extension cord, do you need to unplug it during the rain? Guys, I have extension cords out here on the ground running to my chicken pens out there in my garden area. And yes... When it rains, I unplug them. I don't want no electrical cord laying on the ground when it's raining. And again, that's where you need that GFCI circuit breaker or that adapter plug. That way, if you happen to not be home and it starts raining, odds is it's going to trip that when it starts raining. That way, can't no kid or nothing go out there and be water around where the extension cords lay in a step in the water and get electrocuted. I've done done my share of handyman electrical work. My dad was a contractor. We done some wiring of the jobs he had. I'm not scared of electricity, but I respect it because it would kill you. But guys, I know this was a short little video. But this is a video I think anyone with pools need to watch. Maybe it explain a little bit about your electricity, your cords, what you should and shouldn't do. If you like these little tight videos, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And guys, the best way you can help me grow my channel is to share these videos on your social media sites that'll really help me out and guys if you look in the description under the description under each video 
I'm going to have links to Amazon for examples like this GFCI plug adapter I'm talking about. It'll be in the description where you can go to Am go to my description, click straight on that link, and it'll carry you to Amazon to that link. I'm going to try to have in all my videos go to my description. Also, if you if you ever want to go look and you already done got off the video, you can go to my home page, go to the community tab, click on the community tab, and I have a couple of pages set up there with Amazon links of things that I used or have used in my videos before. And you can search the whole pages and click on the link and go through it that way. But thanks for watching. Hope y'all have a good day. God bless. See y'all next time.